I don't know much more uh, than what Coach T had let on, which isn't a lot. Uh, obviously, you know, we're still waiting for some things to come in, so hopefully it's not bad and hopefully we get them back to us. It's been reported hyperextension four to five weeks. Uh, yeah, you know more than me, so. <laughs> you haven't had a chance to talk to him or reach out to him? Uh, I saw him last night. Uh, he was in good spirits, and, you know, that's one thing that, that's good. In, you know, when a guy's in good spirits, hopefully it's good news. So uh, let's just get him back to us and get him healthy. Well, you got an opportunity now for X number of days to run with the ones, how do you, uh, you, how do you know, approach that? Uh, kind of the same way you'd approach a game. It's the next man up for right now, and uh, it's going to be great opportunities for me to work against Cam into it and some of the other guys. Uh, so it's just that's what it is. It's an opportunity. PJ, this is nothing new for you. And when you've been in there, you've obviously shown that you can perform. Right. This is just another day for me and my job. Regardless of who it is, he, you know, Ramon, I mean, it's is that just kind of kind of the, the life of someone in the NFL? Just it's part yeah, of the game? That's what I just said. It's just sure. it's how it goes, man. You know, it's, it's the way of the beast, you know. Right. Uh, it happens. It'll continue to happen as long as we keep playing this game. So can't really think too much about it. How much does Ramon? You guys are all, I mean, you're a veteran. It's not like, but I mean, Ramon is the, the other than that. Yeah, he's, he's, he's the old man. You know, he's been doing this a while. And uh, like I said, we had a good group. We've uh, really grown a lot together and have a lot of fun together. So that's the part that sucks is not having them there. But, you know, if it'll, I'll be back soon enough. What do you think of the guy replacing him? Uh, of uh, BJ Finney? Yeah. He's, he's, he's confident. He's, he's played in, you know, huge games for us. Um, you know, he's, he's obviously uh, experienced and has been here, knows the playbook. It's not new to him. And so obviously everybody has high expectations on him performing and making sure that the offense has no um, – uh, doesn't slow down, because, you know, you know, for during his absence. Here with former Steelers linebacker Jason Gilden. Jason, what's it like to be back here at training camp at St. Vincent College? Well, you know, like I said, it brings back some fond memories. Um, I'm just happy to always be able to come back and um, be a part of the guys, see what they're up to, and uh, see them put in some work. How is training camp different now compared to when you were playing? Um, I, I believe it's a little easier now. It's not as long. Um, I believe when I started, uh, it seemed like it was forever and uh, it, was, it was a lot more contact as and now. Um, I, I like the fact that they're definitely looking after the players a little more now, but, but between now and uh, when I played, it definitely seemed like it was a, lot, a little harder when I was out there. So. You're ranked second in all-time sacks for the Steelers. Do you have any really memorable ones that stand out in your mind? Well, um, I believe uh, my first one was probably the most memorable for me. Um, young kid getting an opportunity to uh, play um, against the uh, Miami Dolphins and to be able to uh, have a sack against Dan Marino, Hall of Famer, and local guy. And I, I think that's definitely one that stuck out for me. Do you keep in touch with any of your teammates? As much as I can. You know, guys, we, we, we tend not to get too uh, far apart, but, um, you know, staying busy. Everyone's part of family, and, uh, you know, Coach Porter is probably one of the guys that I see more often because, you know, he's still here, and um, we have kids around the same age. So, What was it like to be a part of this organization and to be a Pittsburgh Steeler? It was awesome. And, um, you know, I don't think there's another organization quite like this one. Um, even if you take away the, the success that it's been able to have, uh, our fans are great. Uh, we, we, we're tremendous in the way we travel. Um, we always have a presence. And um, the way that, you know, just coming in and just looking at the tra tradition and the history of our organization, it's, it was a phenomenal experience for me. Thanks so much. Appreciate Thank it. Thank you. I mean, this is a great time. This is, this is a culture building time. You know what I mean? This is where you come in, you really set a foundation for, for what we're going to expect for the season, you know? So, so right now, this time is crucial just being able to get those reps and just not only medical, mental, mentally, but physically. Out there. Oh, I'm sorry. Tyler, when your brother predicted that this team would draft at your position, when they did not, did you look at that as a vote of confidence in your abilities? Oh, absolutely. Uh, I mean, but whether they did, they did or not, I would have the same mentality, you know what I'm saying? But uh, I mean, definitely how everything unfolded, uh, seeing that, I mean, it definitely gives you a little boost of confidence, you know, and knowing that they believe in you too. So it just allows you to go out there and just play and stop. Don't think about all that nonsense, you know? Tyler, how would you categorize your health right now? You know, I, I feel good. Uh, I'm feeling good out there banging and stuff. Uh, it was the first time I've hit since, since that Jacksonville game. Uh, but no, I feel great right now. I always have a chip on my shoulder, you know, I've always, 90% of the time, I'm always the smallest guy on the field, so I expect teams to come at me, run at me, you know, just 
see what I'm about, and it's just a mentality I've been having since growing up. Sort of like, you know, <laughs> don't think you can do it type thing. But right, pr pretty much, and you know, I, I just take it and run with it, and I just play the way I am because of that. Can you play safety? Is that just a goal line, or is that an open field? It, it's an open field sometimes. You know, uh, I usually been running with the three safeties, so you know, it's just an in case type of factor. Gotcha. Yep. Is it just a rule now? Everybody in the team has to play safety at some point. I wouldn't even say it's rude. Like it's just the more you can do, you know, the, the the better you can help the defense. And we feel like with the guys we got on the back end, you can switch positions and everybody will hold their own. Uh, I mean, I didn't have a reaction at all. You know, I mean, if he wanted me to go five more after that, I would have still got up there and did what I had to do. Uh, I guess he was just trying to, you know, see my physicality and how I react, you know, uh, with the backs on backers. But you know. I'll do whatever. Why didn't they use you a little more pass blocking in the uh, college? Because uh, I was getting the ball. Either I was I was in the route or, you know, I was either getting the ball. And I, I, they didn't really ask me to do too much pass protection. Uh, I mean, I did a lot in practice, but not never, not really in the game time situation. So how do you learn? Just by doing it? Uh, yeah, through individual drills. That's what, you know, with Coach Sachs, that's what we work on. We work on a lot of, you know, uh, techniques and skills, you know, relative to our position. So, you know, just uh, individual drills, just working on our hand placement. And, uh, yeah. You understand how important that is up in this? Oh, up yeah. Yeah. Another really good day for us. Uh, we had to deal with some weather issues. You know, guys had to be light on their feet and adjust, but um, it's really no big deal in the big scheme of things. It is um, good for us to have to adjust. This process always presents things that that we have to be lighter on our feet and deal with, and uh, the guys have to. It's just a good rep for them in that way. Um, nothing unusual about how we work, just continue to introduce different phases of situational football, uh, not only to give them opportunities to display their skills, but to teach them nuances, unwritten rules of the game that might you know, be specific to those, those areas. Today, a featured period we work was backed up offense, um, and that's significant, obviously. Uh, we'll continue to do those things. Tomorrow's a player's day off. Um, It'll give some of those guys with, with some of those minor injuries, those day-to-day -day things, an opportunity to get right and get back out there. I'm excited about that. Um, further information regarding Ramon, uh, he had a hyperextension and a, uh, and a bruise on his knee, uh, his right knee. Um, there's speculation that it could be four weeks or so. I want to give you definitive information in that regard. Uh, I'll keep you updated if that changes or as we get close uh, to that. The other guys are nursing more short-term injuries. We'll manage those guys day to day. Uh, we'll see what those, those guys look like as we come out of uh, tomorrow's off day with, 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 with an eye toward at least partial participation in some form or fashion uh, when they come back. Uh, Morgan Burnett was able to do a little bit of that today. He was a partial participant, um, but he got hurt before some of the other ones, so he's further along in the, in the bounce back process. Questions? Already didn't finish anything with him. Nothing significant there, one of those day-to-day -day type things.